Wimbledon 2022 men's draw ready to go, but there's a lot of players that are not playing due to, you know, where they're from or the injuries that they've got. So let's go to the withdrawal list first. All right, let's go to the withdrawal list. We've got Federer, he's out. Nishikori, he is also out. Harris is out. Medvedev, Rublev, Hashinov, Karatsev, Avashka. They're all out because they're either Belarusian or Russian, which we all know they're banned. Uh, Zverev is out with that foot injury or ankle injury. Team is also out. Quarter uh, is out, and Gael Monfils is also not playing this event. So a lot of key names, a lot of contenders, you know, are not playing in this one, and grand, former Grand Slam champions as well. So uh, disappointed we won't get to see a lot of those players, but still, it's a very, very interesting draw. Let's go to the top of it. So we've got number one seed, Djokovic. 32 seeds, of course, in this one. Djokovic versus Kwon in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Kokonakis or Madrazak in the second round. Then we've got Tabilo versus Jera. Winner of that match takes on either Milman or the 25 seed Kecmanovic in the second round. Then we've got the 22nd seed Basilashvili taking on Russell. Winner of that match takes on either Pear or Hellers in the second round. Then we've got Van Rijthoven. We all know Van Rijthoven. Very interested to see how he does. He plays Del Bonis. Winner of that match takes on either Tabana or the number 15 seed Opelka in the second round. So nice draw for Djokovic. You know, Kwan, nice little first round. Kokonakis second round. That could be interesting. Um, Kecmanovic third round, maybe. But Opelka fourth round, I think that's where Djokovic is going to have to start playing well. But I think nolay has got a nice draw. I, I think he's he should win all his matches. Second section of the draw, huge first round matchup. Number 10 seed, Sinner taking on Vavrinka. Woo! Fire first round matchup. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Altmaier or Ema in the second round. Then we've got Murray versus Duckworth. Winner of that match takes on either the qualifier, Cal Code, or the number 20 seed, Isna, in the second round. Then we've got the number 32 seed, Otter versus Galyovchek in the second uh, in the first round two Germans a lot of tie breaks happening in that one winner of that match takes on either Clark or Harrison in the second round then we got Grigspor versus Fanini winner of that match takes on either Struff or the number five seed Alcaraz in the second round Alcaraz Struff that is a nightmare for Carlos Alcaraz but the players to watch out for Alcaraz Sinner obviously got to watch out for them Murray Isner and Otter. I would be watching out for Otter as well because he's had a very good little grass court season getting into Wimbledon. A couple of semi-finals here and there. So he he's going to be a fun player to watch as well. But the winner of this section will play Djokovic potentially in the quarterfinals. So you've got Sinner versus Djokovic, Elkarez versus Djokovic, uh, Isner versus Djokovic, or Murray versus Djokovic quarterfinal. I mean, that could happen as well. So a lot of a lot of combinations. Second, a third section of the draw, we've got Kasper Ruud. Number third seed taking on Ramos Finoles. Winner of that match takes on either Echevori or Umber in the second round. Then we've got Goffin versus Albert. Winner of that match takes on either Daniel or the 31st seed Baez in the second round. Then we've got the 23rd seed Tiafo taking on Vavasori, the qualifier in the, in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Matera or Bedene in the second round. Then we've got Bublik versus Fucevic. Winner of that match takes on either Lajevic or Karina Busta, the number 16 seed in the second round. This part of the draw is super random. Anybody could get out of this part of the draw and get to the... I mean, this is like a clay quarters section. Tiafo is probably the favorite. I would say Tiafo is probably the favorite to win this part of the draw. Big foe could make it the quarterfinals. Uh, maybe Goffin, maybe Umber, but Rude, Baez, Crino Busta, all m more clay court guys. I, I think... Or maybe even Bublik. I mean, there's a there, there could be an unseated play to get to the quarterfinals from this section. Let's go to the last part of the top half of the draw. We've got the number nine seed, Nori, taking on Anduha. Winner of that match takes on either Montiero or Munar in the second round. Then we've got uh, Peniston taking on Laxanen. Winner of that match takes on either Johnson or the number 18 seed, Dimitrov, in the second round. Then we've got the 30th seed, Paul, taking on Vadasco. That's a very fun matchup. Circle that one as one to watch. Uh, winner of that plays either Manorino or Purcell in the second round. Then we've got Correa versus Vesely. Winner of that match takes on either Fakina or the number seven seed, Hercatch. And again, that is a fire matchup for sure. But this section of the draw has got some more contenders. Obviously, Hubi Hercatch, Cam Norrie, got to watch both of them. Dimitrov, Paul are very uh, good grass court players too. We've seen Paul do well this week. The winner of this section will play the winner of the Rude section. We could be getting Hercatch versus Rude if we're going by the seeds, but more likely, let's go with Tiafo versus Hercatch or maybe Big Foe versus Norrie. But uh, Djokovic's semi-final opponent, if it's not Hubi Hercatch, it's going to be probably random. All right, bottom half of the draw now. Berrettini, top of the bottom half. He's number eight seed. He takes on Garin in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either uh, Huzla or Grenier in the second round. Then we've got uh, Kola versus Bonzi. 
Winner of that match takes on either Kukushkin or the number 29 seed Brooksby in the second round. Then we got the number 19 seed Diminor versus Dillian. Winner of that match takes on either Bergs or Draper in the second round. Then we got Brody versus Klein. Winner of that match takes on either Chorich or the number 12 seed Diego Schwartzman in the second round. So Berrettini has a very nice draw and should make it through. I mean, there's no one really in his way. I think maybe Diminor could be an interesting fourth round. But other than that, I don't see any problem for Berrettini. He should win all these matches in straight sets uh, and get to the quarterfinals. Let's go to the next section of the draw. We've got Chapo, the number 13 seed, taking on Rindernick. Winner of that match takes on either Nakashima or Kun, uh, uh, Kun in the second round. Then we've got Gallen versus Kopfer. Winner of that match takes on either Balash or the number 17 seed, Batista Agu in the second round. Then we've got the 26 seed, Krajinovic, taking on Leheka. Winner of that match takes on either Jub or Kyrgios in the second round. Then we've got Bayana versus Thompson. Winner of that match takes on either the qualifier, Richard, or the number four seed, City Pass in the second round. This is an interesting section because you've got Chapo who made the semis last year. You've got City Pass who seems to be taking a little bit more serious on grass this year. Kyrgios, we know what he's all about. Kranovic is good on grass, as he's proven this uh, this year. Batista Agu is also good. So this is really interesting to see who comes out of this part of the draw because I feel it could be any of those guys I just mentioned. Now, the winner of this section of the draw will take on the Berrettini section. And let's be honest, Berrettini should be in the quarters. So we could be getting Berrettini Sidney Pass in the quarterfinals or Berrettini Chapo. Maybe that could be a quarterfinal. Uh, but we could be definitely a possibility of getting Kyrgios versus Berrettini in the quarterfinals. That could be a serious possibility. All right, we've got the number six seed and we've got the seventh section of the draw. Number six seed, OJ Aliassime takes on Cressy in the first round. Yuck. Terrible for FAA. Uh, very hard first round opponent. Winner of that would take on a qualifier because we've got Morales versus Sock. Two qualities going at it. Then we've got Dennis Novak taking on Bagnus. Winner of that... Um, match will take on either uh, the wild card Kubla or Dan Evans, the 28th seed, in the second round. Then we've got Runa, the 24th seed, taking on Giron. Winner of that match takes on either Martinez or Molkan in the second round. Then we've got Gray versus Zhang. Winner of that match takes on either Musetti or the number 11 seed Fritz in the second round. FAA's got a terrible draw. I mean, he's probably the one who, out of the top eight, they've got the worst draw. Um, out of the guys that we seriously consider a, a grass court guy. I know Rude's got a tough draw, but that's because he's not a grass court guy. But FAA's got a tough draw. Um, Cressy, first round's not fun. Sock in the second round would be tough. Evans in the third round is not fun either. Uh, Runa plays, you know, I think Fritz versus Musetti's a fun matchup too, but who get, I don't know who gets out of this section of the draw. It could be random. All right, in the bottom section of the draw, we've got the number 14 seed, Chilich. He takes on McDonald in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Souza or Gasquet in the second round. Then we've got Rusevori versus Nishioka. Winner of that match takes on either Lopez or the 21st seed uh, Van Azanchul in the second round. Then we've got the 27th seed Sinego taking on Kudla. Winner of that match takes on either Poprin or Gaston in the second round. Then we've got Query versus Barankas. Winner of that match takes on either Serendolo or the number two seed Rafa Nadal. And Nadal, I mean, probably if you have to pick who's got the hardest draw out of the big three, the top three favorites, I'd say Rafa's got the toughest draw. Followed by Berrettini, followed by Djokovic in that order. But it's definitely manageable. Now, the, this section of the draw will take on the uh, FAA section of the draw. So we've got Nadal versus Felix Ogeliasim. We've got Nadal versus Fritz, potentially. Or maybe Nadal versus Evans. I mean, if things go really crazy and we get a random, maybe Dan Evans make the quarters against Rafa. Who is going to win Wimbledon for 2022? I mean, I have to say Djokovic. I, I just, I think the, the when it gets to crunch time and we get to the quarterfinals, I think Djokovic will beat, uh, will win. I think Berrettini might even beat Rafa. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm saying it now. Berrettini might beat Rafa in the semis to play Djokovic in the final and then Djokovic taking the final. But you let me know in the chat. Let me know in the description. What do you reckon? Um, Rafa's got a nice draw. Berrettini's got a nice draw. City Pass probably has the worst draw out of the big, big boys. Um, because Kyrgios is on the horizon. But again, you let me know in the chat. What do you reckon? What do you reckon?